Right. No, I'm using tenacious. Everything damage. Yeah, but that's the only thing that I've staggered, right? Nate. Fuck my life! Like, he was almost dead, right? And I got staggered, right? Yeah, I don't think stagger should be in PvP at all. Stagger is not a fun mechanic. Like, I'm fine with crowd control, but stagger should not be a thing. But what type of stagger now, though? Sticky bomb? I mean, sticky bomb is really weak. But I mean, take away stagger and just buff the skills and shit. If they are too weak, right? <clears throat> no, stagger is lame. But that's my opinion. A lot of people love to open with a nade and and then shoot, right? Because it's a free kill, like the other guy can't do anything. I think that's so lame. Let's get some stacks going. Fucking fire, dude. I'm gonna med kit and I'm gonna fucking yolo this. And I'm gonna die if I do that. Look at this fucking nade, boys, dude. Here, take this nade. Fuck it, I'm going. I'm tired. Of it. Hmm. When are they adding my gear set, though? 100% immunity to fucking bullshit. And he's immune. Is he hacking? Or did he just get rest? God, this is really fucking awful. I wanna play PUBG, dude. What is this PvP? YOLO. Hey, fuck! Oh, I wanna smash my keyboard, my fucking stagger, dude. Would have killed them all if I didn't get fucking staggered, dude. Fucking bullshit. Like, they were so dead. Then I get staggered. Like, it was the perfect backstab, dude. And then I get staggered from a fucking nade. Had, like, all damage as well. Fuck. Bullshit. Only thing they do is nading. Nades, nades, more nades, more. Oh my god! What is this PvP, dude? Nade. <laughs> I don't know if I should laugh or if I should cry, man. I don't know. This is some really fucking example of dog shit PvP. I gotta say at least. I still don't see this effect. One fucking year. No medkits. I'm gonna die from the fire actually. Unless I get a heal. I mean, they can't keep everything like this. Just give my gear set. Give my classified gear set then. 6p is immune to all fucking bullshit in game. <laughs> no stagger. No status effect. Yeah, just give me that. 6p. 
Then there's a counter. The thing is, I have to die now because I don't have any medkits. And I want to use Tenacious. I'm done playing fucking bullshit builds, man. This makes makes this PvP even harder to enjoy. Like if I have my normal builder, it's not a problem because I will have heal all the time. But it's a big problem with this though. Pre med kit. Double reload. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. That's what I can't do with this build. I can't let people shoot. Like one or two seconds before. Because I die in like half a second. If they aim good. It's like funny that I did way better with the other build. It's because it's 41k to the head, dude. Without tenacious. Don't kill me yet, don't kill me yet. Even using Blaze, my nimble would make so much more sense. Just too much shit to do if I use. Right into an aid. I don't know what happened there. Anyone explain? Like I was aiming at them and then it randomly. Recovery? Like two two of them have recovery. They're not here, I guess. Yeah, there is one of them is there. That ramps guy. Should I stream today? I'm gonna stream to like eight, nine max. Then I have company. So yeah.
630. This is definitely the last game of Division today. Fucking needs, dude. Can you use your gun, you stupid? Oh man, need, 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 need. It's unbelievable. When nades are stronger than guns. I think he got a bit cocky. Breathe in, breathe out. I wish I had a blue man. So, dude. I'm gonna play the map, guys. I'm going A. <laughs> Oh, you just give me like a free for all lift match, man. That would be pretty fun. Pre med kit for damage. Yolo. Everyone's already dead though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't the challenge a bit in Dark Zone. Gotta do it another time. Probably do it off stream so I don't get sniped all the time. Then I would get the best result at least. I don't know if I want to bother with that one. Oh shit, they have everything, man.
me switching weapons, yeah. So I kind of like not playing a lift. It's gonna be a pretty tight game actually. I'm not gonna leave B because then they're gonna take it every time. And you see they're trying. Okay, they don't they're not getting any points. can't leave here, though. I don't want them to win. I don't care about winning, I just don't want de them to win, right? Pretty good streak, but there's not enough people to kill. because of freaking nade man what else <clears throat> damn 46 kills huh like imagine if i had a better ending though like if i could kill some more would have been like 50 plus guess that's a decent finish Yeah, every, everyone that wanna play this build, go go and copy paste the shit out of this build. They wanna see everyone in Dark Zone next week. Everyone should have this build, okay? Everyone. Copy paste. Go go go. Davai Davai. It's the best damage build ever, man. Here go. Copy paste. So here you go, reckless. Because you are a cool kid. And it's important that you, you you take critical hit chance here. No no health or skill ace, critical hit chance. Then you go tenacious on the mask, critical hit chance, more crit chance mods. You go critical hit damage on the knee pads. It's crucial that you go critical hit damage on the on the knee pads, right? Critical hit chance again. And you don't go self-hit heal mode, you go pulse critical hit chance mode, okay? Then you go specialized with critical hit damage as well. No health, critical hit damage, man. Everything's gonna be damage, 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 okay? And then critical hit chance again, critical hit chance, critical hit chance. Skull gloves, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, 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 damage. And then you go, you should not go nimble. You should go Connell Bliss Holster with, uh, with pulse critical hit damage. Let me swap that. Please holster. 
you should have crit chance here. I don't have one. Like I have skill list here because I'm noob. You should have critical hit chance here and critical hit chance mod. Just damage everywhere, man. Everywhere. I have more DPS. It's not active here because my mods are shit. So I would have like five five hundred thousand plus plus damage. Okay, like half a million DPS, guys. Half a million. It's important to go brutal, competent, responsive, all headshot damage. Okay. And then you have a secondary noob gun if you feel like you're pretty bad. You can go critical hit damage. Right? With the depth. Then critical hit chance, critical hit damage, headshot damage. Damage, 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 okay? You guys got it? Your toughness is gonna be low, but who the fuck cares about toughness, man? It's all about damage. You wanna do damage, right? Right, chat? Damage, damage, okay? Skill power, the only reason, you should actually go everything to firearms. But the reason is that I don't have a gun with competent in the bottom, right? So I have to go 1000 electronics to activate that. If you have competent, then you put everything here into firearms, man. Because firearms, that's damage. You know, more firearms it equals more damage, more damage equals more melt, and more damage, more badass, and you're gonna be dope, okay? Skill ace is gonna be like 50%, that's 15% too much. You need you need to transform that to damage. Health is gonna be 168. Which doesn't matter because health got nothing to do with damage, okay? Yeah. So if you wanna be even more dope, you take away the skill ace here and you put enemy armor damage because it's damage, okay? But I think that's pretty much the build, right? Yeah, I call it uh, the damage build, okay? There we go. Best building game, guys. The best damage build, okay?